It's time for the finale of Zero Racing Season 3 Weekend Series, which is actually the finale of the actual season. These will be the final two races run in Season 3. The championship is wrapped up. Alessio De Bonus uh, claiming the title with a double win in Chang International Circuit in the Destination Speed Thailand. But there is some intriguing things going on elsewhere in the points. Matt Wheeler sits on 251 points, currently in second place, with 224 points for Martin Lauer in third place. So they are battling over second in the championship. It's kind of a bit of a weird situation because that seems like a very large gap to make up in one round. But because of the vagrancies of score dropping, Wheeler is dropping points. Lauer is not. So that makes it very interesting as to who will take that home. There's also a fight going on for eighth place in the standings between Mike Magasevich and Mark Labzul in a basically rematch of the Weekly Day series. Magasevich comes in with a 92 to 82 lead. And uh, Ben Chwari is also looking to pick off Wes Stokes for fourth in, in the title. He enters this race one point behind. Wes is, in, is absent. So, barring problems, Wesley or Ben Chwari will be picking up a spot over Wesley Stokes in the standings. Additionally, Dulé Markovic, who's been a phenomenon in the late season for the for zero racing tremendously big part of the bmw comeback that has been the second half of the season he's looking to finish in the top 10 in the standings he enters this race 15 points behind an absent carl raggio so a podium finish and an initial points finish will get him past him and we'll see how that happens but let's walk down the grid shall we on pole it'll be martin lauer uh, the Mercedes driver, who we were talking about, is hunting down his his brand mate for the title or for second place. Ben Chwari is second on the grid, followed by Mike Mark making a rare appearance in the weekend series. Um, Mike Mark, of course, third place in the weekday series. Winner here at Suzuka in the final race of the weekday series, looking to cause some chaos and be just a a general uh, spanner in the works, as it were. Matthew Wheeler will start from fourth place. Mark Minahan, fifth. Sixth for Rick Martel. Seventh for Dulé Markovic. Eighth for Mike Magasevich. Ninth for Thomas Waz. And tenth for Mark Glabzul. All Red Bull back row. Ten cars. Let's get this rolling. And they are off. Looks like a fairly decent start from Lauer, or at least a better one than Ben Chwari got. Matt Wheeler has a good start. He powers his way past Mike Mark, who's been a pretty good starter himself, so that's a little surprising. Puts him into third. Mark is in fourth. Markovich is up to fifth. A bad start from Mark Minahan, who started fifth. He is down at the back. Wonder what happened to him. Mark Labzul out starting both of uh, the Audis. Uh, let's have a look-see here. If this is just a bad starter. Did Minahan have a moment here? Honestly, it looks like he just had a terrible, terrible start. It's right on board with him here. He's P5 on the grid. That's inside row 5. There goes Markovic. There goes Martel. There goes Magasevich. There goes Klapsul. There goes Waz. Just... A really bad start for the Australian driver. So it is Lauer leading from Schwari, Wheeler, Mark, Markovic, Martel, Klabzul, Magasevich, Waz, and Minahan. It's interesting sloping S's here, the curves that are a big part of Really, the difficulty of getting a, a perfect lap around Suzuka. Let's say, uh, along with the. And uh, Minahan looking to make a comeback. Of course, started fifth, back in tenth now. The Australian is going to be looking to make up spots. He's got a pair of Audis ahead of him. The Audis, not very strong here. Uh, missing their best drivers, of course, with the exception of Ben Schwari, who's up in second place. Waz getting wide in the hairpin, and it looked like a. Look like a lock, lock breaks for Mega Savage as well. In the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick rewind here and see what happened between Mark Clap Zool and Rick Martel, as they appear to have slotted into a different order. 
Uh, looks like Martel gets on the grass at the hairpin and then whoop, going around. That's probably actually why Waz wound up going so wide, Elsa is just a bit of a traffic jam. And that's Klabzul up into sixth place. Again, 10 points behind Mike Magasevich. Has no drop. Magasevich does. He'll be dropping a pair of points at the end of this race, or not dropping it. He, you know, his lowest score is two. He will drop his lowest score. And uh, that means it's kind of effectively an eight-point gap. A sixth-place finish for Klabzul put him even. That being said, that's with Magasevich scoring none. Magasevich is on the verge of four points right now, which will give him a two-point lead heading into race two. Bit confusing when drop scores get mixed into, the, into it all. Mike Mark putting the pressure on Matt Wheeler. Mark ecstatic to win the final round of the weekend series, or the weekday series, and get his maiden victory in zero. Can he get another? For now, he's in fourth place and will have to make up ground against this, this Mercedes juggernaut that has really been the season. Martin Lauer leading the way from the Audi of Ben Chuari and the Mercedes of Matt Wheeler. Top BMW is Mark, followed by another pair of BMWs, though. Dulé Markovic in fifth, and Mark Klabzul in sixth. Rick Martel seventh. Then it's Audis, and uh, another BMW, Mark Minahan. So we head through the Degnas. This is a surprisingly difficult turn to get right. And, oh, uh, Mark got the job done against Wheeler, maybe at the first Degna? No, this is before that. He got him he got him in the curves. Taking some liberties with the track line, it looked like he goes down the inside, gets the job done, winds up taking out all of the bylons. Little bit of pressing track limits, but job done from the number 13 car. Markovic under under fire right now. Uh, a little bit odd. He was very quick during the weekday race. Markovic, of course, sitting on the need for 15 points. He's on 10 right now in fifth place. But he's got pressure from Klapzul and Martel. I'll be honest, I'm a little surprised that Minahan is still back in 10th place, having been so far unable to make up any ground. Top two are kind of on their own. Mike Mark is pulling away from Wheeler, so I think the interest is here in this battle for the top five between Markovic and Klapzul. BMW on BMW. you got to wonder uh, if that will play a role, of course. Brand loyalty. Uh, looks like Minahan has finally ditched Tom Waz. Let's have a look. It looks like Waz had some kind of a moment here. Yeah, looks like it. Just, uh, wow! Just kind of just loses everything on the car there. Wow. I don't think I've quite uh, seen a particular moment like that in uh, all season. Mike Mark may be having some connection problems. It's allowing Wheeler to catch up a little bit. Markovic still under fire from Klabzul as they head into the chicane. The Red Bull BMW makes the move on the Shell BMW. That's for fifth place for the Dutchman. Mart Martin Lauer still leading the way here on lap uh, three of eight. Second place, Ben Schwari. This has been unchanged pretty much throughout the entire race. Third place is Mike Mark. All three brands represented on the podium. Matt Wheeler is in fourth, followed by Mark Klabzul and Dulé Markovic in sixth. Seventh for Rick Martel, eighth for Mike Magasevich, ninth for Mark Minahan, and tenth for Thomas Waz. Bauer makes his way through the Degnas.
So Klabzul has gotten past Markovic, but it doesn't appear that Markovic is inclined to let him get away. The BMWs are still battling with one another. This could open the door for Rick Martel's Mercedes to make a play, but he doesn't appear to have the pace to hang with them. Klabzul, by the way, hell of a race so far. Started P10 up to P5. Kind of a, honestly a reverse action of the Mark Minahan race where he started P5 and was P10 for a while. Now P9, Markovic looking for a move. He's got it. It's going to be a lot of nerve though if, if Klapzul decides to go for it here into, into this hard speed left-hander. He's also looking into the chicane. This is where he took claps. Uh, he took Markovic here just one lap ago. Markovic gives him racing room. Good work, but maintains the position. For now. Stick with this battle. It seems to be the most interesting one on the field right now here on lap four. Mark Klapsul trying to put the pressure on Dule Markovic. He made a move just two laps ago. Got in front of him, but Markovic managed to come back at him and make the play. We'll see what happens now. Martel, uh, really the men may be a tad, but uh, definitely doesn't seem to really have the pace to consistently stay with them. It seems more that just their squabbling allows him to remain in the pitcher. Wide there is Markovic, and it's going to allow Mark Klaps a little move, and he's through. Back into fifth place for the Red Bull BMW driver. Into the hairpin. A bit wide in the hairpin, but not enough for an opportunity there. And uh, action happening behind them is Mike Nagasevich's eighth place is coming under siege from Mark Minahan, which is very important. Again, we were talking about how Nagasevich, 10 points ahead of Mark Klaps in the standings, 92 to 82, dropping two points, and right now. He's only, as it stands, he is, would only be two points ahead of Mark Labzul in the final race of the season. If Minahan gets past him, it would position it to be a tie on 92 points apiece. Seems like Klapzul for the moment has his hands on fifth play. But we'll have to see. Uh, Lauer is a three time race winner this season. This would be his fourth if he were to hold it. The man chasing him, Ben Chwari, has been more of a. definitely a consistent racer. Uh, just. Uh, just the one win so far, that coming at mid-Ohio. Three podiums to start the season. Ran on a four-podium run through Portimao and Sonoma. Uh, his worst finish all season being a fifth place at mid-Ohio round one. Surprising, won the second race. Finally broke his goose egg at that time. We've been talking about the goose egg kind of throughout this round. Because Mike Mark has been, you know... On the verge of winning a couple times, and finally did in race to Suzuka the other day, and uh, now running in, he is now running in third place. Pressure is on Minahan versus Magasevic. Martel is putting the pressure on to Markovic, also in a battle for sixth place. This is for eighth. I don't know exactly where Minahan probably thought he would be, having started the race in fifth place. See, of course, the intricacies of the uh, of the bridge mechanics there. goes for anything into the chicane. Doesn't look like he's going to. 
Washington to ride behind for now. He'll pick up DRS on the next lap. A couple of places to utilize DRS here at uh, Suzuka. Reasonably high speed track. This start finish straight being a prime opportunity. You can see Minahan is rocking it there. But no move yet. Not quite willing to commit to anything as of yet. Not much going in the top four. Uh, Klapzul was pulling away from Markovic. I think Markovic is pulling him back in, though. So that could end up being a bit of a battle. But I think, yeah, the most interesting thing on the track is this battle for eighth place between Magasevic and Minahan. These two have had some battles. Uh, they both actually got podiums at Race Room Bridge fighting against each other. Uh, that was their first podiums, actually, of the season. Um, and at this rate, it appears like possibly their only ones. But uh, we'll see. And, uh, of course... Big battle in Indianapolis when Minahan spun Magasevic around and honestly probably cost one of the podium as Dule Markovic came through to take that podium. So a lot of history here between these two. And Markovic has gone around the, what has happened here for the BMW driver. Was in P6, closing a little bit on Mark Labzul. Can't seem to get the cockpit view. Let's see what happens here. Just yeah, just loses the back end. And Maga Savage and Minahan will each pick up a spot, as will Martel, dropping Markovic back to ninth, and he needs better than that if he's going to get a top ten ranking. Uh and pass through. Should be uh, notably interested. Uh in season four, uh Minahan and Maga Savage are actually going to be teammates at Golden Bolt. So I wonder if this is uh this will be a preview of what might happen then. <laughs> Maybe not the most ideal teammates in the world. DRS here coming into t uh, coming into the fast uh, sweeping left-hander. And then into the chicane. Not able to make a move yet. He's got two laps left. And you'd have to imagine, based on a fifth place qualifying car versus an eighth place qualifying car, that Minahan has more than enough pace to get this done. And he does. Heading into turn one, Magasevich actually even gets a little bit wide, makes it really easy for him getting on the marbles a little bit. Minahan through into seventh place. Meanwhile, back at the front, it's still Martin Lauer leading the way from Ben Chouari. It's been like that all race long. Matt Wheeler has picked up third place again, though, having gotten past Mike Mark. Let's have a look at how that happens. Maybe something in the first turn akin to, uh, akin to uh, Magasevich losing a spot. Indeed, that appears to be what it is. Matt Wheeler coming inside. Mark, of, uh, Mark gets out on the uh, marbles, and just there's nothing you can do out there once the car is inside of you. Matt Wheeler back onto the podium, still trying to challenge to ensure his second place in the standings ahead of Lauer. Uh, again, we were talking about it. The, the vagrancies of the point dropping system is making is really opening the door for Martin Lauer, who overall due to some, uh, some funding issues and ability to be on the track, has uh, largely been outperformed by Wheeler in terms of attendance, but not, uh, not in terms of actual results. And that is, uh, that is what the, the point dropping system has done for us, created this battle. Lauer out front. As we said, looking to create his fourth victory of the season. Previously, with absolute dominant at Sonoma, taking a double and winning at Lunasega in this one. Uh, a three race winning streak was ended by uh, Mark Lapu getting on the board for BMW in the uh, second race at Laguna. A 
Mega Savage getting out a little bit wide there. Oh, holds it. Holds it. But uh, losing ground to Minahan, that is for sure. And he he needs everything he can get. He's currently in eighth position. That is four points on his 10-point lead. Now he'll be dropping two of those, though. So he'll only be getting two, which will give him 94 points. And it will put Mark Klabzul, who's in fifth place, on 92, heading into the final race. Tom Waz has had a moment. I think Ben Chuari is reeling in Lauer, but uh, with this being the final lap, I don't think it's enough. Wheeler's still in third place. Still followed by Mike Mark. And the pressure is on against Mark Klabzul from Rick Martell. Mercedes goes up against BMW. Schwari is getting very close. The pressure is on here in this battle for the lead. Um, hasn't been much of a battle all throughout this. Lauer, you know, kind of coasted out to a decent gap, and it's being cut down now as Schwari. Puts the pedal to the metal to try and secure his second victory. It would be a big deal for him, of course. He's uh, a really, really fourth place in the championship. There's not really a lot at stake for him. But there is a lot at stake at, for Audi, which has uh, died an absolute death here in the second half of the season. He's very happy to take home a driver's title with Blessing of Bonus and take the double win last time out in Chang. But there has been some significant problems for Audi in the second half of the season in the absence of team leader Carl Raggio. But it is going to be Martin Lauer who takes race one here at Suzuka. Ben Chuari will have to settle for second place. Third will be Matt Wheeler. Um, not really any close there. Mike Mark fourth. Mark Klabzul was under fire from Rick Martell, but it seems like that's definitely not the case now. He'll take fifth. Martell will be sixth. Mark Minahan will be 7th. And then 8th place will go to Mike Magasevich, who has a moment there in the chicane, it would appear. Ninth for Dulé Markovic. And 10th for Tom Waz. We'll be back for race 2, where it'll be Tom Waz leading from the pole position from Dulé Markovic. Magasevich and Minahan will be on row 2. Minahan's got to hope he's got a better start in him than last time because he slipped from 5th down to 10th and I think that directly impacted in his inability to bring home a more significant result taking home a 7th place. So until next time it will be the last race of Season 3 and the DTM era.